what's up guys Morris here uh, welcome to my channel ice fishing season is coming up so I got myself three items that I'm going to show you how I will install right here is a fish finder uh, this is the helix 7 g2m which is the generation 2 with chirp side imaging and I have the ice converter for it make sure it's the one for chirp if you're gonna get the chirp uh, this right here is my battery that I'm gonna install with it it's a lithium root by Markham um, it's good it's light that's why I kind of chose it versus the acid battery ones which are heavier so let's go ahead and install right now let's go. okay let's start off with this this guy right here Got the LCD screen. Seven, I think, represents the, the inches of the screen. So it's a seven inch screen. Nice. We also got the transducer. We got the bracket to install it in. And the knobs. And we got screws. I don't know what this is. Oh, I think this is for the transducer. Allen key. We got the book. This is probably the power. So we got to do our own wiring, which I will show you guys how. Let's open up the battery next. comes with its own charger and here's the battery here we go lithium brutes well, the wire is not doesn't come ready for the plug so we're gonna have to figure out a way to connect these two right here so by doing that we're gonna need two female disconnects I'll take two of these out um, before we do put these together, just remember that this is red, this is black. Red is positive, and black is negative. So I have the red and black tape to tell which one's apart. So we're gonna actually put a heat shrink between these two first so that we can actually shrink these two together for a better seal. And then we're gonna have another two. I'm gonna cut these two in half. Here and one in here. So after we install these, I can put them put them between and then shrink it. Crimp these together. You'll need a crimp a crimp tool. This one comes with one right here. So I'm gonna use that to crimp to hold the female disconnect. Like that. And then plug it in. There you go. And all you gotta do is crimp it down. Okay, so now it's hard to pull. Make sure you test it out. Can do the next one. So I don't know if you can see it, but inside there, there's a stopper. So I'm pushing the wire all the way in until I can't. Then you just crimp it down. There you go. So that's tight. And now we can heat these up to shrink it down. I'm gonna do that with a lighter. Just one first. Careful not to burn yourself. So that didn't really shrink all the way down. So I'm gonna tape that down. I think these heat shrinks are too big. Can get a smaller one.
try to bond it, bond the rubber together. Like seven, and this you can just plug in. So make sure the the red positive goes to the positive. through this I'm just gonna turn it off I think you hold it for a few seconds and then it'll turn it off yep three seconds and then it shuts down there you go shutting down do that there for now um, we're not gonna use this for the ice season so I'm gonna put this away let's see what this one got Uh, hold, hold it up, rubber foam, the base inducer right here. So this is actually for the Helix 5. The Helix 5 is shorter in screen, so you need these longer to reach it. So we're not going to use that. This one's for the 7, longer for the 5, short for the 7. I think this is for the battery. Snug fit, so it's kind of tight now. The kit came with uh, connectors, so this piece will go in here. There's a slot here, so you just push in. There you go. This will go through. So now we're just gonna connect this. There you go. And the other side. And then we got this carry this around and looks like we need four screws two here to the other side so we got four of these screws and screw it here tighten it down and then next we're gonna install this here this is to hold the cable there you go for the transducer connect this to the back here and then we can wrap this around here foam here we'll hold the transducer this clip here will help hold there you go. Go ahead and connect this. And these are to hold the battery down. Same thing on the other side. All we have to do is put this in the bag. That's it. So before you guys take this machine out to go ice fishing, it will not work unless you have 
um, an SD card, which this does not come with. So if you check over here, right here is where the SD card will set. So right now, there is nothing in there. So I'm gonna put that back in. It also says on the box right here, micro slot memory card not included. So what you have to do is go and, go and buy yourself one right here. The right software to run this machine, you'll have to turn this on right here to know what kind of software version you're running right now. And this will turn on, then you will be prompted to press menu to go to setup. This might take a second. There you go, so you press menu. And you can see it here. You're gonna go down to system status, go to the right. Here will tell you your system status. So what you wanna know is your software version. So mine is right here. 1.640 um, the latest version will be like 2 point something so right now you have to know this number 1.640 and then we're gonna go to the computer right now and try to try to update this software so we can plug it into the machine so to update your software you will need a device that will read memory card um, this one specifically is a micro SD card that you need to read um, something that I can plug into the computer so this is a USB port that I can plug it into Go. I'm gonna plug this in. Now you'll have to go to uh, the Hummingbird website. You're gonna have to search up software updates for Hummingbird devices. And on this page, you're gonna have to go scroll down, search for your for your uh, device. Mine is the Helix Seven, so I'm gonna click on this. And I have the G2N with the SI. Yep, that's mine. I'm chirp. So now we're gonna they're gonna ask you a question here. What version are you running right now? So if you remember my number, it was 1.6 something. So it is older than all these numbers here. So I'm gonna click on this and then continue to update. So now you're gonna have to download this. Right here. It will take you to this page right here. And if your device falls under these Right here, you're gonna scroll down. It tells you what devices it will work on. And it tells you your internet download times. Um, if you have good internet, it'll go faster, obviously. Uh, right here is where you click to download. So that's where it starts downloading. Uh, then you just have to follow these instructions here to install it to your device, and it should work. Alright, so once you finish downloading this right here, you're gonna go to your desktop, create a folder, name it whatever you want, I mean mine, uh, Hummingbird Software, and then you're gonna go back to where your downloaded file was, open, okay, and then it's gonna show these two files here, you're gonna extract all of them to that folder on your desktop. So I chose Hummingbird software, okay, and then extract. So it might take a couple seconds here. It might take a couple of minutes if your computer is slower. Um, almost done. 80%, 90, done. Cool, so these two files here showed up on the folder. So what I'm gonna do is copy these two after it's done extracting so that's the mistake you don't want to make um, copying the file the, the extraction folder and not these two two items here so you want to copy these two items and then put it onto your micro SD card so this is my SD card paste this might take a couple minutes and then after this is done you can insert this SD, micro SD card into your fish finder and then it will work. I just finished copying it onto this micro SD card. So let's try putting it in. There we go. Now it's working.